and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here today for the always pleasant task of welcoming a new business to Woodbridge Township. In this case, we are at the club at Woodbridge, and we are welcoming Barbell's Cafe Restaurant to uh, the club at Woodbridge, which is a fantastic improvement that the members so far have enjoyed. It's been terrific. Quick history of the club at Woodbridge. Way back in 2018, the former owners, the Zerpolos, uh, mentioned to us that they were interested in selling and getting out of the business. We were intrigued by that uh, for a lot of reasons. One is it's always nice to have some control over what comes here, six uh, acres on Upper Main Street. Probably more important that we have control of the site because we didn't want something to come here and run another facility kind of uh, competing with the community center, even though the club is more like upscale and the community, community centers, you know, regular kind of kind of like a country club atmosphere here on a golf course and a public course across the street. But we still wanted to control it. So we entered into negotiations and bought it fairly quickly and closed on October uh, 1st of 2018. We then started a major renovation project here. I can't even think of all the different things we did, the most important of which was replace the tennis courts with an ice rink. And you'll see when you, I know um, we're going to have some shots of everything all over the building here, but that ice rink has been tremendous. Tennis used to produce $35 an hour for four courts. This produces almost 500 bucks an hour, and it's busy all the time. We have our high school team plays here. We have the Wolfpack Hockey League, which is a huge league in, in Central Jersey. This is their home. We have adult leagues. It's just absolutely tremendous. So it's been a great investment. We did a whole lot of work where the other tennis courts were. Now that's a big open room for training and all kinds of things. We brought in the golf den which is a simulator. You can play any course in the world, and there's a pro that works there. We brought in the hockey den, um, which simulates uh, ice for goalie training and things like that. We made upgrades to the gym, upgrades to the cardio, the bikes, everything. We're almost done, probably a couple more months to having a brand new basketball court and brand new track, and that will be the final piece of this entire project. We moved the front desk, made that more efficient, made it closer to the front door where it belongs. So a whole lot of things. And then Barbells was a key piece of that. There used to be a club, a, a restaurant here called the Clubhouse Cafe. I think it had six seats and a few tables. Now this is a wonderful, wonderful facility. And like I said, it's been open for a while. We had a whole series of soft openings. Then we opened it officially once we got the grill going and now we're celebrating the real opening. So. Joining me first because they have to get back to work. Uh, to my left is Pat Katsonis, also known as PK. He is the uh, head uh, chef here, although a clubhouse, um, you know, club thing doesn't really need a chef. It just needs a cook. But you are a chef. You are a chef. Uh, he's got a long history with us. He works in the community center right now. Used to own a, a PK's on Main Street. Pat, let me give you the microphone. Tell me everything about the menu here. What do we serve? Um, tell me everything you can. Uh, the one good thing I could say about the, the, the menu here, it matches everything that is here. Everything is new, everything is fresh. We make protein shakes and smoothies in the morning. We make your breakfast uh, to order, whatever your, your interests are, whether it's a wrap, a sandwich, a plate. Uh, we do salads, we do grab and goes, so you can come and grab yourself a, a quinoa salad, a, a, Car a Carol's Power Play salad, a Slap Shot salad. Uh, and then we have our food, which is anything from sandwiches to wraps to paninis to burgers. So we have a little bit of everything for somebody to come in here, work out, come have a protein shake, have a little dinner to take home, and enjoy the facilities. So we're really excited to offer this to everybody, and uh, we can't wait for the rest of the, the club to open up as far as the gym. And uh, we're really excited for that. And people do a lot of, like, work out and grab something to go and bring it home and eat. Yeah, yeah, you come, you grab a protein smoothie, have a drink, you sit and, uh, and eat a little food, but then you can take food home and have some dinner for yourself and bring food for the family as well. And as long as you got chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, and french fries, you got the kids interested. You can't go wrong there. That's a home run right there. All right, great, thanks. All right, All right thank you. Next up, we have Caitlin Krinigan, who is the uh, front of the house manager managing the bar. Uh, she has managed the front of the house at Curtains uh, for a couple years now. Uh, two years. Two years. And then also we're going to have her involved when we finally open up the Tiki Bar. So do the same thing PK just did. Tell me all about uh, the tap beers we have. Tell me about the can and bottle beers we have and the mixed drinks. Go ahead. Oh, boy. We have a lot. So we have a full bar here. We have four taps. We have Miller Light. We have an oh, IPA. Well, Miller Light. Who, whose idea was that? Oh, I wonder who. <laughs> Uh, Founders IPA, um, Nugget Nectar from Trogues. We have Allagash White. We will be switching them out as time goes on as well, um, as the seasons come, go on and come and go. 
Um, we have full, like full vodka, full all all the options you could think of, all the liquor you would like. Um, Surfside, all the flavors of Surfside. It's a great place to come, um, hang out. The hockey team is, you know, the hockey uh, rink has been a really uh, good thing to have with a bar. Um, all the parents love it. Um, and the staff here is great. I'd like to thank all my staff for coming with me from Curtains too. They have been so supportive in uh, um, following me here. Um, and that's really... And one of the fun nights we had was at Curtains when we're sitting planning the menu and Kate and Linda doesn't know hockey, um, not that I know a lot about it, but enough. And she'd shoot out a name of a drink like a Moscow Mule. We made a Messier's Moscow Mule. Oh, yes. And you named all of the Blue cocktails, Martini. yes. Well, Doors Blue Martini. That was fun. Yes, Everything's yeah. named after a hockey player. <laughs> That's a <laughs> salad. That's a Carol salad. You, you don't get a drink. You get a salad. Yes, we named all of our cocktails after um, hockey players. Right. And um, I came up with the cocktails. He named them. Yeah. It was a good collaborative effort. A lot of fun. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, yeah. Great. Well, thanks. Um, yeah. Well, PK went back to work. You right. go back to work. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, next to me is Carol Ehrlich. She is the head of the Woodbridge Arts Alliance, the president of that entity. Now, you have to know that towns cannot own liquor licenses. You have to get what they call a concessionaire's license. And that's got to be run by a separate entity from the town, usually a nonprofit. So, when we built Curtin's Restaurant, we got a concessionaire's license from the state, and it's run by the Woodbridge Arts Alliance, and it all tied into Curtin's and the Avenal Art Performing Arts Center, which is the arts. And there's musical performances in the restaurant. It's all tied together. So Carol's the president of that. So we were thinking of another entity for here, and all of a sudden our attorney said, no, you can still run this under the same license as the uh, Curtin's Restaurant, which is also the same license we're going to use for the Tiki Bar, which will be here doing a grand opening, hopefully in about six or seven or eight weeks. Uh, so as the president of that entity, this is really cool that we now have another facility like this. So tell me about your thoughts about everything. So this is great. And so the Woodbridge Arts Alliance, you would think arts, it's not about opening up bars. But actually, I look at it as a fundraiser. So every time you have a drink, you are supporting the arts in Woodbridge. That's right, and right. I, I, I know every time you have a drink, you think about that mural yep. that is going on Main Street. And yeah. we, um, and, but WAA has had a fantastic team, starting with, the, with Curtains and the theater with yep. APAC. And so much of that team has come here to make this possible. And I just, I see a couple of people out there who've done a great job. Patrick, um, he, he, he's the one, he's the one who takes care of all the money at WAA. Heather, who's always and always my right hand person. Anthony, who is the truly the artistic end of WAA. Runs the theater. It runs the theater. And um, Caitlin, who started with us and now she's expanding here and at the Tiki Bar. So uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Keep WAA raising money and keeping people happy. And you got two board members, Bob and Bob. Bob and Bob, you want to mention? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Bob is a board me Bob member, Polis. and Bob Polis, and who else is here? Former Councilman Bob Sobieski is here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. there's two. Great. Okay, lots of support. Great. Thanks. Let me turn it over now to Paul Losick, who uh, forgot more about hockey than I'll ever know. Uh, he is the head of the Wolfpack League. Uh, without the constant rentals from the Wolfpack, a hockey rink would never work. This is a, a terrific league, you'll tell, but I think he won a 14 and under tournament in Dallas a year or two ago. This is a serious program with people from not only Woodbridge, but all over Middlesex County, into Staten Island and other parts of town. And, and you're also critical in building this rink along with Vito and, and Casey and others. Tell me your thoughts about everything here. You've got to be thrilled seeing another hockey rink in Woodbridge, given your history. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this. Um, a lot of rinks that open up now do have a concession stands like this, and this is just state-of-the-art with the ice rink and the concessions here and the, and the bar for the parents to enjoy. A lot of my families are here, and they love it. They were wishing for this for years, and now it's a wish come true for them, and it's all because of your vision. And uh, we're going to bring tournaments in here from uh, – teams from all over the country. We've had in the, the last year, right? Iowa, Kansas. In North Dakota, Police, 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 Colorado. Came to play the New York Police Department 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 here. Yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of teams are coming from all over the, uh, the globe here. Um, we had a team from Czech Republic here last week that played our Wolfpack team. Really? Yeah, um, 
as a scrimmage. And wow. then we're expanding that tremendously. Like you said, kids are coming from all over the place. Uh, we have a kid that comes from Hershey every day to come skate here. So really? Hershey, PA. So it's it's pretty. Uh, these teams come in. They're staying in our hotels. They're, Absolutely. They're dining in our restaurants when they're getting their snacks here. But they're dining in the Olive Gardens and the Bahama Breezes and the the uh, Dave and Buster's with the kids and all those places. Right. They're they're buying equipment at Monkey Sports in town. They're they're going. I even talk to the managers there. They're, I, I see people in town. They tell me how much the hockey has actually br brought uh, revenue to the town. So terrific. All right. I want to thank you. Let me quickly introduce some people that probably don't want to speak. Brian Momar is the head of recreation. He declined the opportunity. Keith Kapanos to my left is the head of the club. You sure you want to say anything? Good, man. You're sure thank you're good? All right. Good, thank you. Diane's the new front uh, desk manager. Your sister. Um, I'm going to get to, we have uh, Lola, who's a, almost a 40-year member. We have Marge behind me, who's membership. We have Rob somewhere around here who does membership. Uh, Pat Wall, who's the accountant bookkeeper. Uh, and yeah, I got to mention my sister, although she's not going to speak. So she went from toiling in obscurity here. She's a 40-year member. She was here when she was in her uh, late teens, no, early, early 20s, I should say. So no one knew who she was. She was just Anne-Marie. Until I started walking around, me and Vito and Carol and others, we'd come here like every other day looking around, thinking of ideas, making plans before we bought it. And even when we first bought it, no one had any idea that we had a, a family relationship. And... That was bad for her when people found that out because all they did from then on is tell your brother this, tell your brother that. Does your brother know this? So no one knew anything until we came here and then she became a, a, a what do you call it? Ambassador. Ad ambassador or a, 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 a complaint taker. Um, <laughs> and every time her and her husband John and me or my wife or any of us went out, it was always club, club, club. And we talked and we talked and we talked. But she had a whole lot to do with the success of this place, and a whole lot of her input and her ideas went into what you see now, which is a wonderful facility. So thank you, Anne Marie and John. We also have some uh, stars in the in the uh, audience. We have a 40-year member. I don't really know his name, unless is, is his last name really Chuba, or is that a nickname? No, oh, Chuba is your first name. I know. Yeah. So Chuba is a, is a celebrity. He has run in 102 marathons. And, and he, he owes, he, he credits the club at Woodbridge for giving him the stamina and the ability through coming here all the time, which I'm only making that up. But it's Chubba, true. It's, true. it's true. All right, tell me, all, tell me about your career and tell me about your experiences with the club. Oh, when I first came here, I was not really a runner. But eventually I saw people exercise and running. And there was a couple members that were runners. And I said, hey, I'm doing a half marathon. So I started training. And I started did my first half marathon. Next thing you know, I did 102 halves, 130 half marathons, and it's fantastic. It's like a, it's like being a, a second home for me almost here. Oh. You know? And the classes are great. Abs class, for us old guy yoga, and you gotta stretch because we're tight. <laughs> and it really is a family kind of atmosphere. Oh yes, it is. Great. A lot of mention, people I met. Did I mention you? You did. I did, all right. I just looked at you now. All right. Uh, we got Adam and Nancy, who are a couple that comes here a lot, too. You guys want to step in front and say a little bit about your experiences here? Sure. I've been a member since 1986, and when I joined here, it was the place to go and the place to socialize. I brought my kids here their whole lives. They took all courses and classes and swimming and basketball. My one son is employed here. He works here. He loves it. And today... It has improved. The improvements are great. They're fantastic. And I'm hoping that Barbells is going to revive the social aspect of this club. Great, great. Adam? Hard for me to top that. She said it basically in a nutshell. I could just say that I was here back in the late 70s when it was just a racket club. And uh, periodically I stepped out, but then came back, went on some ski trips and things like that. But all for the, the best. They did, yes, at one time. I think the one was in 96 that I was on. Uh, it was really nice. We had a good time. And that's basically it. And uh, it's a great place and looking forward to it and see where we're going to go from here. Great. Here Thanks. Go. We also have with us our town clerk, John Mitch. We have our planning director, Marta Levsky. I think that pretty much covers everybody. I want to bring out Megan Kushba, who's a member here, who is our communications director. I got to give a shout out to Kelly Walsh, who works for Megan. It was Kelly who designed the Barbells logo, 
and everybody here gets a free hockey puck with the Barbells logo on it today. But it, it, it marries the hockey stick with the fork on the end and another one with spoon on the end. And it's really very, very clever, this whole logo. I want to thank Kelly Walsh. Kelly with an IE. We also have a, a councilman in the audience, Greg Ficarra, who is the head of the Wellness Committee in Woodbridge. He's been doing that for almost 17 years since he's been on the council. And come on up, Greg. Uh, this kind of fits right in with your whole theme of Woodbridge being a healthy and a wellness town. Well, you know, it just dawned on me as I came and I saw all the people around. There's a wonderful book called The Blue Zones of Happiness, and it talks about places around the world where people live a long and healthy life. And you would think that the reason they do that is strictly because of their exercise and their fitness habit. But the number one factor is socialization, being with people and interacting. And that's what Barbell does. All right, very good. Did we cover everybody? I think we got everybody that's going to speak. Let's get the ribbon. All right, let's count down from five. Four, eight, two, five. Welcome to the bridge. Congratulations, pal. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, you. sis.